So guys, today we've got something unbelievably special for you. We are at Burbank Airport and we're going to show you a Boeing business jet. We're with Armin. Hi, Armin. Hi, Michael. Good to Thank see you. Thank you for coming. Tell everybody who you are. Hi, guys. I'm Armin Aslanian representing Avjet Global Sales. And we're going to look at this. This is a Boeing business jet, not a Boeing 737 that's been converted. This is a Boeing business jet like brand new. It's done 130 hours or something that's like that. Correct. And you're going to have your mind blown. Should we go take a look? Let's go. Let's go. Oh my word, crazy. So Armin, this is, I guess the crew area, right? This is the forward lounge area of the aircraft. It features a divan, two crew seats, and a four place conference group. Unbelievable, it's not like your regular 737 at Southwest. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come back at the end, we'll go in the flight deck and look at all the goodies there because that's major upgrade. Oh my word, guys, look at this. Ha, dinner is served. This is just unbelievable. So how long have you been selling jets like this? I mean, goodness gracious, this is amazing. So I've just been in the business of business jets for 40 years. But this isn't a business jet, this is, this is. It's an airliner basically, right? It is, it's a commercial airliner converted into a business jet. But bought that way originally. It Correct. wasn't like an airliner that became... No, no, no. It was bought as a Boeing business jet. Wow, so let's take a look at this thing. So this is set up for eight people. Unbelievable. I have to sit in one of these chairs. This is just... I never want to fly commercial again. <laughs> I don't want to fly on a business jet anymore. This is just like something I've never seen before. This is like granite, right? That is granite. That's correct. So you have a eight person dining table that doubles as a conference table. It's uh, electronically operated. It'll go uh, adjust to the height that you want. Incredible. I mean, this really is. You, I mean, this would be nice in a mansion. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Much less an airplane. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's just talk about numbers for a second. It's 27 passenger airplane with six zones. So if you were to buy from Boeing, correct, a 737, it comes basically naked. It's it, a shell, right? It is a green tube in the inside. That's right. all you get from Boeing. And it's about $85 million or thereabouts. Correct. And then when you want to do this to it, it's probably another $50 million or more. That's correct. Anywhere from 50 to $60 million to put in a custom interior like this. So that you guys know, these are not like regular chairs. For example, one of these, if I'm not mistaken, is probably in the region of 35 to $40,000. Is that accurate? I would say a bit more in today's prices. Is it really? Yeah. It's more than that <laughs> for one chair because they have to be fire blocked. They have to be uh, impact resistant. Not that that would really help you, but yeah. <laughs> um, and FAA approved, which means crazy. But wow, I mean, just unbelievable. The wood, this I'm assuming is electric. It is electric and it, uh, it serves as a cabin divider. Right up and down. Well, let's continue. Uh, let's continue through the plane. We've had our dinner. <laughs> We've had our TV. Now let's go have some fun. Now let's go have some fun. <laughs> What's this, a card table? Unbelievable. That is an electronic Mahjong table. Coolest thing I've ever seen. Unreal. Watch this, ready? And now, you throw all of these things in here. This is more fun than the aeroplane. This is crazy. And you press these, it goes down. And now these are the tiles being sorted. This is just wild. I don't know how to play Marjan, but if I ever did, this is what I want. Crazy. Up she goes. Crazy, 
absolutely crazy. Love it. Again, talking about what something like this cost, I'm assuming, because you don't see this, this has been, had to go through the FAA approvals and everything else. Right. This is probably $50,000 or more. Right? I would say more. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And again, you've got these wonderful caption chairs that are fully electric. I don't know everything they do, but uh, I see recline they, buttons. Yeah, they recline, they massage, they do everything you want to do. Oops. Okay, I have to try the buttons out, see if it works. All right, let's see. It's definitely moving. Oh, look, I have a place for my feet. Leg rest. This is, what does this do? I don't know what this does. Oh, I'm going to go to sleep whilst I'm playing Marjan. This is so cool. This is just ridiculous. And on this side, we have music controls. We have lighting controls. I don't know what it, oh, there we go, that one. Yeah, anyway, 35,000, no, but you said more. $50,000 yeah. seat, crazy. And it has a compartment that I pressed a button and opened. I wonder you what did. that is. <laughs> oh, it's a life <laughs> vest. Wow, well, okay, so I'm assuming that closes manually. <laughs> All right, we finished our game of cards, not cards, Marjan. I don't even know what Marjan is. And this is where the money's made. The owner of the plane, he sits right here and does his deals. What are you offering me for this deal, sir? How beautiful is this? That's correct. This airplane also features the fastest broadband system currently available. That acts as a video conferencing Monitor. I see the camera in yeah. there. So if you want to have a conference with somebody. Video conference from the sky. That's correct. So again, that is very, very expensive on an aeroplane. It is. Like crazy money. Yes. To get Wi-Fi, regular Wi-Fi on a jet, I think it's about $150,000 initially on the small jet, and then 20 grand a month or something like that. Am I close? You are close, but on a jet like this, uh, I would estimate about a million dollars for installation. Really? Okay, so when you're flying on United or American or whoever you're flying and they want 15 bucks for internet for your flight, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, pay for it. Yeah, pay enjoy for it. it. Pay for it, enjoy it. Wow, this is just insane. Okay, let's continue. Put my phone away, keep sitting on it. All right, guys, this is the fun part. This is the Mile High Club. Look at this, beautifully made. And this stays permanently set up as a bed, right? It this does, is it's a, a queen bed, and it stays permanently set up as a bed. So let me ask you a question. When you're in bed, do you have to wear your seatbelt? Um, you don't have to, but... Is there a seatbelt? I believe there is. That's so interesting. That is really interesting. Imagine hitting turbulence, you're just laying there and then yeah. you're flopping back. It could be fun. And of course, you've got your TV. What do we have here? Let's see. Oops. Just storage. Linen, storage. I can't get over this aeroplane. I mean, I just can't get over it. Storage. Press to open. More storage, lots of storage, and there's all sorts of controls there. Yeah. And one of them is to intercom the captain or the crew. Do this, do Get that, do the other. Us. Right, yeah. And here we have the royal restroom and shower. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, look at this. This is really quite special. That's a full shower. Now, there's an interesting question for a seatbelt. You have to be very smooth there to do this, right? <laughs> or you could do it on the ground. That's right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Where's the loo? Here. Right behind you. A crazy aeroplane. Everything is gold and everything literally costs a fortune. So this aeroplane is currently available, right? It's available it's for somebody to buy. Correct. It's the only one like it uh, being a BBJ2 exclusively available for sale. Right, and it's done 134 hours. That's correct. So it's brand new. It's brand, like new, yes. So I'm sure everybody will want to know. In fact, let's go and sit down and we'll, let's discuss what the cost of operating. It's a bit bright in here. Let me show how fancy this is. So you have to <laughs> press and hold, just like Southwest. 
So let's talk about the operating costs, right? Based on business person's consumption of a plane like this, like 400, 500 hours a year, right? Yeah. What does it cost an hour to actually use it? I would say anywhere from eight to $9,000 per hour. That's direct operating costs. That's correct. With about 80% of that being fuel costs. Correct. And the other 20% maintenance and crew and... Maintenance on this airplane, especially the airframe, is way low. Let's compare a price on like a windshield. On a BBJ, it's five, $6,000. On a Gulfstream, it's like $100,000. Yeah. You know what I mean? So because there's plenty so many of them, right? Yeah, there's so many of them. So that's an interesting thing. I know through personal experience that a side window on a Challenger, the, the just side window, yeah. because it's a little minor scratching that's nothing. Yeah. It's like $35,000. Right. And I'm imagining on one of these is probably $1,000 or less, right? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> so guys, the, the moral of the story is buy a big one. <laughs> that's right. So, okay. so. That's direct operating costs. On top of that, you now have to have a hangar where you keep it, uh, in which case it needs to be a giant hangar. So maybe not, maybe this sits on the ramp, I don't know. They're pretty much made to sit on the ramp. Most BBJ operators um, don't have hangers. The ones that do have built the hangers themselves. Yeah, so your $150 million investment sits in the shade rather than in the sun. Correct. What does it cost to get a crew on one of these? Do you have any idea? I have a good idea. Let, let me see how good I am, ready? So a captain, $185,000 a year, somewhere around that. Uh, first officer, 125, 130. And then depending how you hire your flight attendants, 85, 90. Am I close? You're close, but I would probably add possibly maybe 50% to those being in a corporate environment. Yeah, and one more thing. Being on a corporate jet is the most wonderful thing ever. Guys, if you want a great job, be a corporate jet pilot or a flight attendant, because when the owner of the plane goes on vacation, so do you. They put you in the hotels, they give you cars, they pay for your food. You're on vacation with them because they don't send you home because who knows, they might want to leave tomorrow. You've got to be there, right? That's correct. So uh, it's a great gig. It really yeah. is a great gig. So this plane here is basically open to any sensible offer. It is. Currently, we're, um, uh, we have it listed as make offer and uh, we have a very motivated seller and uh, we're open to all fair market value offers. And he will teach whoever buys it how to play Mejong. That's correct. Should we go take a look at the flight deck? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. That's the guest bathroom. Right here. Oh, it's nice. This is a comfy loo. What a beautiful airplane. Really is. And then up front here, we have the galley, as you would in an airliner, which is where all the food is prepared. Coffee makers, ovens, all the hot storage of food. It looks like an airliner, but on steroids. Just nice, right. really, really nice. The airplane also features a mid galley next to the TV. Oh, it does? So somebody wants a refreshment. They don't need to make this long trek. I think somebody likes Chinese. Yeah. These are the best spoons to eat Chinese soups with. And then here we have Just linen cabin. <laughs> okay, let's go in the front. So this is where it all happens. So this is the up and down. Up, down. Houses get smaller, houses get bigger. <laughs> right. That's exactly right. All right, walk us through it. So this is an HUD, I see, right? Yeah, that's a heads up display. Yep. So you can bring that down. Now this is fancy. So this is for night vision and all of those things. I have a pilot's license, yep. um, not for this sophistication, but let me see how good I am. You tell me where I go wrong. Okay. Okay, so these are the primary displays. Okay. You're correct. Right? Multifunction, everything. These are the flight directors, the flight computers. Correct, where you set FMCs, your, flight management computers. Right, you set your flight path and you tell it its altitude, and its directions, and et cetera, et cetera. So this is the speed brake. These are the thrusters that you push forward. This is the reverse thrust, which you would pull back on landing. This is the flap control from zero to 40 degrees. These are the radio banks. APU is the auxiliary power unit. That's the unit, when you get on an aeroplane and you hear what sounds like the engine's running, it's not the engine, it's the auxiliary power unit, which provides all the electrics, correct? Electrics and air, if you're on the ground, right. correct. Which is another jet engine, basically. It's a full-blown jet engine, right? Correct. This is the most important instrument in the aeroplane. 
which tells you which way round you are, basically. So you want to have the blue side up, that's the sky, Always. and the brown is the earth, and if it goes the other way, you're in big trouble. You have your engine cutoff switches here, parking brake. One of the things you don't have on this aeroplane is a key to start it. That's correct. <laughs> up here we've got uh, fuel, we have uh, what else do we have up here? We you have, have your, lights, cabin controls, right? Correct. You have your electric hydraulic pumps. You have your fuel pumps that are su supply the fuel system to the airplanes. Here's another fun feature. People wonder how they steer. This is the steering wheel. That's correct. So this guy here, when you're taxiing, you push it and pull it, and that's what puts you on the center line. This does not turn the airplane. It's not a steering wheel. This actually, when you turn it, it's the rudder. Am I right? Your rudder, your rudder pedals are at your feet. Oh yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Scrap yeah. that. <laughs> da, 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 da. Right, yeah, da. <laughs> what an idiot! These are ailerons. <laughs> okay, would you want to fly with me? <laughs> it's been a while. So this is the yoke, and what the yoke does is it gives you uh, up, down, and left and right. So when you pull it back, the elevator moves, and when you push it forward, the elevator moves, which gives you the pitch of the airplane. Correct. And then the turning to the right and left is the ailerons, which turn the plane, and you have rudder and your control on your feet. That's correct. How am I doing? You're doing good. Would you feel safe with me <laughs> flying, flying this? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here is landing gear. And when you take off, the moment that you have positive climb, you lift the landing gear, and the reason that you do it as soon as possible is for wind resistance. How am I doing? You're doing good. Behind us here, um, oh, actually not this side, this side, is the main fuse panel. Oftentimes, if something goes wrong, you can reset it by pulling a fuse and putting the fuse back in. Looks very complicated, but it's actually not that complicated. It's a little different than your normal commercial airplane. This aircraft has five auxiliary fuel tanks installed in the baggage compartment. So on an airliner where you would have uh, uh, all baggage. 130 people's worth of baggage. Correct. Right? Here you have five uh, large fuel tanks that give it um, an extended range. What is the range of this plane? So the range of this airplane is about 5,000 nautical miles. Oh, wow. Depending on airports and uh, passenger count. Right. Yeah. So 5,000 nautical miles uh, is unbelievable for a 737 because yeah. they're only 3,500 miles, right? <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. I mean, I want one. <laughs> Can we get you in for an upgrade? Yeah, right. This is an interesting thing. Let me point this out as well. This is a trim wheel. And uh, I don't know if this actually operates the way that uh, I I've Would seen them operate. They actually spin, yeah, they spin based on, on the, the, the control input. And what this does is it stabilizes the flight. So you trim the aeroplane to maintain whatever input you gave it. That's correct. So, uh, yeah, I need to get current again. Yeah. This is amazing. I'm in love with this aeroplane. <laughs> Absolutely in love with this aeroplane. Should we take a look at the outside of it? Absolutely, let's Let, do it. Let's do it, okay. Wow. Let's take a closer look. This thing is huge. Absolutely. Absolutely huge. So each one of these fan blades on a, well, not, I'm, I'm talking now about a business jet, like a Gulfstream, be like 50 or $60,000. I'm assuming much less because there's many more of them, or That's are they still up there? I would say they're still up there. Uh, however, maintenance on these is, you just put oil and fuel in it and it'll go. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Wow. 
Nice to look at a brand new engine. 134 hours. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Nice. All right. And this is the advanced wing with the winglets. It's just enormous. Let's check out the tires. So this is the main gear. These things are about what? $5,000 each, something I'll like that. Correct. And um, they land, they last for maybe what? 500 landings? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some, then, somewhere around there? Correct. And then in here, whoa. You never thought you'd be inside one of these guys. This is insane. I just can't imagine being the mechanic taking care of this. Whoa. APU, auxiliary power unit, drain. I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's a drain for the APU. That's correct. So if there's any uh, hydraulic fluid that needs to come out, it'll This it'll is where it comes there. from. A brand new airplane, because they're normally rippled. I mean, I'm so impressed. This yeah. is... This is not a fun place to be. This is where they attach a hose and all the nasty stuff comes out. APU! In case anyone's ever wondered what the back of an engine looks like to look in, here you go. These guys here are called pito tubes and those are a crucial part of an aeroplane. You see one says first officer, one says alternate, and on the other side you'll have two more. My mistake, you have one more, captain. So you have captain side, first officer, and a backup. And what they do is they take in air and they give you the airspeed and also, uh, what else do they give you? Airspeed altitude. and altitude, right? And then these are for angle of attack. They move when the wind hits them and it tells you what direction the plane's in. Another very crucial instrument, so you know which way around you are. This has been incredible. Guys, if you want to buy a Boeing business jet that's basically brand new, done 134 hours, this is the guy to contact. All his information will be in the description. Armin, this has been an absolute pleasure. Wow, what can I tell you? Thank you for coming out, Michael. Thank you so Appreciate much it. for showing us this gem. Work hard, and who knows, maybe one day you'll be able to get one of these things. I'm gonna work my butt off, I want this thing. Remember, we're in it to win it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. See ya.